Who do you think you are? A fairly good person? A leader? Above average even? What you are is a stagnating mass of human flesh and feces. And I refuse to be dissolved by your meaningless existence. This is a tribute speech to the most hardcore punk rocker to ever exist. Jesus Christ Allen, the madman of Manchester, the blood and guts of rock and roll, the god of fire in hell. This speech is an explanation of who this man was and more importantly, what his message was. Listen to me, listen. Your whole life is crap. It's crap. It's all meaningless crap. We need to rise up and destroy societies that currently exist. Your tax dollars rain death from above. All over the world, American drones destroy and dismember, empowered by you, the American taxpayer. Stop! This society can only function with your consent. Don't be a cog in the death machine. Be a monkey wrench in the gears. Don't roll over and be had. Stand up and throw a stone. Born in Lancaster, New Hampshire in 1956 into a home with a dirt floor and a violent father, Gigi was baptized in blood, violence, and control. But he broke free and ended up becoming one of the most powerful souls this side of existence until he crossed over. Gigi was a revolutionary, not some stupid communist, but a real revolutionary of rock and roll. Too many people these days have no concept of history or where they fit in the universe. They're barely human. Because of this, they're easily used up and disposed of by the machine. Let me tell you who you are. You are a conquered man, a subservient pawn. Gigi understood this, and he knew how to fight back. Now I'm going to tell you how to fight back. Gigi Allen was undeniably the most hardcore punk rocker to exist. He brought real danger to his art. Sometimes he would get up on stage, get naked, and throw poop at people. Other times he would fight with people in the audience, breaking bones, cutting people, and the audience would give him that level of violence right back. Why is this a good thing, you ask? Let me ask you something. Who would dare rule over a population that regularly stabs, throws poop, and sexually assaults each other? If that's what they do to their friends and the people they identify with, what do you think they're going to do to you and anybody who tries to rule over them? Gigi was the real deal the true messiah, and the government saw him as such. He was arrested in 1989 in Michigan and spent about two years in prison where he wrote his manifesto, among other things. Gigi understood something very deep about the system we live under. We give it power to rule over us by being docile slaves who obey. We would be unconquerable, unrulable, if we could only be less agreeable. This society is not your friend. The natural state of humans is to be like the animal, wild and free as all good things are. I have included a link to a recording I made on YouTube of Gigi's manifesto, where his mission is clearly laid out. In conclusion, I ask you, no, I command you, become free, become wild and free, like you're meant to be, be a man, throw a stone, don't rule over, don't be had by the machine, I leave you with this, it's what I call the French salute, this is a physical representation of how far we are going to stick our arms up the anal cavity of anybody who tries to mess with us or rule us.